here he comes. Oh, goodness. Got to checking it out. Blue and amber flash. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'll turn thing up. Yeah. We did put one or two windows in this thing. Uh, they're all in, but they probably should be some of them if a guy wanted to put that much money into Number it. Number five. So Jack is the one that taught in World War yeah, he was World War II. World War II, he taught how to run. Yeah, these well, he was run all equipment all his life. He was a uh, superintendent for green construction on uh, from uh, the other side of Coalfoot back down towards uh, halfway down to Yukon River. That My dad his... worked for green construction for many years down in Anchorage, and then he was in Service City working for green. Yeah, on well, the slope. Yeah. So well, yeah, Jack, small come state. up. Jack was superintendent. He built freeways down there in California, so they sent him up here. And of course, he didn't know anything about cold weather. But he was smart enough. He Don't hired worry. them old time 302 guys that worked in that cold shit. There you go. He depended on them and he, hey, they treated me good and I treated them good. So, but yeah, I've got a whole bunch of shit for this. I got a set of air breathers in there, I think it's all. Hell, I don't know what I got. I'll yeah, drag this, it all you, I, I, I'm walking around it, you can definitely tell that this was somebody's pet because this has been changed. That's definitely well, it's updated. A 35 it's a, amp. It ain't enough. Yeah. It ain't enough in the wintertime. Oh, the heater I see. and all the lights and everything going. He even put a set of old lights on the front there, you know, and it had some up there, and the, it just ain't enough. But, but it's a tw definitely a 12 volt, huh? Now, they, they, the, the starters. It's been converted to 12 volts. Oh, okay. I know, yeah. That's what I thought it was, yeah. converted to 12 volt. Yeah, and I don't know, you know, it's. Uh, he seemed to know all about it. He said the first thing you do, of course, is you always check, check the goddamn the oil, oil in the pony engine every time you start these old cats. Well, he would know. <laughs> well, shit, it's still full. See? Yeah, but it might be full. Of, has a whiff of gas. Not bad. It's no, we changed. Uh, he out. when I bought it, he had changed the oil and shit in yeah. this thing. So, but anyway, you check it because. That's what happened to that one, you know. They started it up when the oil had leaked out because they have a tendency, some of them, to leak out the bottom. Yep. A lot of the times people will leave the. And if you take this on. thing apart, it would be uh, my. Ad I would advise putting a new belt. This is loose to begin with. But uh, anyway, putting a new belt on that. And those are boogers. Well, Those you gotta belt, take it yeah, apart. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta dismantle all this. You gotta take the breather system off, the exhaust system, just to get at that starting engine, because you can't you can't take that off without the, the carburetor off without taking that apart. Oh, Caterpillar's really good at that. They like hiding bolts behind bolts oh, behind shit. bolts behind bolts. So, yeah. and uh, I always check the oil when it's idling after it warms. Ah, uh, you're supposed to check it. Yeah, the Caterpillar. Yeah. You're supposed to check them when it. It's going to show more without it. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, well, the, it was changed when I got it too, but I haven't put that much time on it. But it gets black. Oh, diesels, it does. It does. That's what the, it does. But they have the tube comes down like this, and then the oil levels here, and 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 that that's to keep it from splashing around. And so they want you to check it while it's warm, because the oil in the tube. But if it don't have that tube, that's when you're supposed to check it. Uh, I, I burned at, fifteen. At, uh, uh, 1540 cold. And, uh, 15 Dello. Del 15 well, that's Dello? That's what Dello is, diesel engine lubricating yeah. oil. So that's what I put in it. I never had to. I think uh, one time I might have added a couple of quarts or something, but I haven't run it that long. Yeah. To, uh, one thing about this, though, the starting engine in the wintertime, you get that going and it flows through the rest of it. Yeah, the uh, antifreeze heat, heat yeah. to Now, that's a smaller engine than that thing back there. This is bigger than the one back there. Yes, this one. Actually, that engine back there, that D4600, is the same size capacity, uh, 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 cubic inch, as the first Caterpillar they ever produced. I wouldn't doubt it. And they had and, and somebody, one of, the, one of the, you know, I was listening to pros and cons you of these Caterpillar the engines. You seen the plaque on that one, didn't you? Yes, I did. That is, that's, that's, that whole that's thing. That's probably is. an antique. <laughs> oh, it is. It Four is. Four engineers, yeah. Uh, that's a, that one's a lot older. Yeah, this one's a 30... 38th of 41, maybe. They went in groups of three or four. Right. This is, a, a like you said, 38 to 41. Yeah. 
and it's the 9K9302. Probably. Two zero. But I think even, I think maybe even the circle would ever change. Uh, everything, from what I understand, pretty much a lot of the stuff interchanges. The mow board and everything, it's not broke up, but the, not much cut, cut. There's a little cutting edge left on it, but... Yeah. There, the, that the, right there, yeah, don't, you know, hang on to that. Oh, absolutely. That gives all the dimensions, the weight, the length, the whole nine yards. But the uh, starting engine is a little uh, little off, so. Oh, that's that's the easy that, part. And what I had that covered, that exhaust, see, there's a piece of pipe right there. That's where that went right there. Yeah, I, I raised see that. it up in the air so it wouldn't be beating on your ears there. These tires, they're old, but they're the same wheel, same everything else. Well, you gave me those other wheels uh, yeah, for my tires. Adams. They were big ones. So tires. You couldn't even hardly get your damn hand in. You couldn't hardly ah. get your chains. Forget the chains. Well, I, was, I, I did it make a groover and re, just regroove them. Well, I suppose you could do that, but uh, you got all brand new. You're not going to... Well, you could fix this one to run. Yeah. You know, uh, you fix that starting engine. Uh, I played with the... This here lift here was broken welded, I think. This the one cracked in fact that looks like it might have been cracked there and welded one of them i thought was welded up this had, had broke but uh everything worked on it you know when yeah. i had it running i played with it out here in that old back road there a little bit oh this looks like maybe a yeah there you go yeah it, uh, part of it had broke broke off and somebody welded the hell out of it probably 58 60 years ago i don't know. but uh, this is uh this has, well, it has the hydraulic steering. Well, somebody gave me two 55-gallon drums of grease. You think that'll work? Yeah, it'll work. Grease is grease. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on Craigslist, and the guy goes, get it out of here. Yeah. Said, can you load it up? I said, you bet I can load that <laughs> stuff up. Yeah. Watch me. So I mean, but I, I won't just have wanted any you to know you're buying as is. I know. I, I oh, I know, man. I I, I want as is. Yeah. yeah. And this one looked like I didn't realize that this one, the 9K, had the uh, the That's hydraulic old, yeah. unit. I wonder if that was added later. That might have been. I'm not 100 percent sure. I thought the uh, this 7T was the first something one. Something cut off of this, but I think maybe the uh, Scarfire had something to do with it or something. Yeah, there was a. Uh, one one between this one and that one and it was called the 7T and I think there was one model was only 770 made so that's what this is here this is the Scarfire setup right but it, on that grader it's supposed to hook up on the other on side on the other side yeah so but uh, wow well, my old days I used to use Scarfire for uh, ice uh, Ice build up on so, uh, roads, so uh, glaciering, you know, from uh, streams and stuff right. that freeze on the road. I did a lot of it in the canyon here and all kinds of things. But yeah, I th there should be a serial number on this one, though. Oh, there is. It's uh. You found it, huh? Yeah, it's uh, 9K9320, yeah. right here. Oh, it's on there, okay. It's right here, and it's also on the engine on yeah. the other side on the tag. So the engine yeah. and the chassis match. Yeah, this is Corps of Engineers now. <laughs> What the hell? Why would they be by? Well, back then, World War Two. Yeah, so, that's what uh, they did. Is that yeah. they they were they had to make so many and get them out to the to the uh, uh, especially the outer posts like Alaska, yeah. like the Adams Motor Grader. Now the contracts were done in the middle of, during in the forty three. Yeah. And in, and in forty four, I'm sorry, forty four. By the time the machines were done, and the production date was forty six, the war was over. And they had a, a surplus of, and an Adams and all of the cat and all the people were going over there and getting as, as you know, cheap as they See, could. This one's uh, 24,000, so that one you know is heavier. Right. Yep. Not much, but it'll be heavier. I, 20, 20, I think it's right at the same. Yeah. I'd have to get my book. Yeah, I can't haul that on my trailer, so. <laughs> <laughs> but this one has a bogey load of 15,000. So that's the compactor and, yeah. and everything else back there. Yeah. Well, Jim, I'm going to get going. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you, talking you to you, man. You pay, you take it. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm a paying, I'm a taking. You got it. I'll give you all the crap I got around here to go for it. Okay. You got to take all that, too. How about that old... Uh... Oh, yes. Uh, my son-in-law is supposed to take it. Oh, okay. If he don't take it, 
I'll start checking it again. You come haul that damn thing off, you ought to now though. One of the tandems on the driver's side yeah. it rusted up or seized or something, but it were it ran. That's a, oh, look here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple of them around here. Where'd they come out from? Right here? Right out, out from underneath that blue truck, I think. Yeah. I lost the keys that the other day. I'm oh. having a hell of a, I got a oh, man. ignition, I guess, buy a new ignition. I'm, I'm, I misplaced my rims for my old one-ton Ford. I want to sell that money for this. And, uh... I can't find my rim. I'm one rim short. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's uh, it fifties in the early sixty uh, Ford three three uh, three fifty, uh -huh. and it's a six bolt six lug on a pattern seven and a quarter pattern, as opposed to the five bolt. One ton is that a little dually? Yeah. Uh, you know down. you know anybody's got anything like that? I sure as hell don't. <laughs> Well, I haven't even looked at this. Let me come over here. It ran, but it hasn't been run in 25 years. He, Bill Parks drove it in over there, and that's where it sat till he died. He put, built that bed on there to haul wood and stuff. Yeah. With for, and it just rotted out. I don't know where the rest of the wheels are, but I think this, I don't know where the old Jimmy Van Zandt's place is on. Wait a minute. Two, four, six. Well, that ain't going to fit on your one ton. Are you say, sure? Uh, well, no, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't. Uh, Let me get a tape measure because if that's center to center from here to here, what size are these? Are these 16s? Oh, they were 20s. I'm sure they're 20s. Yeah, dang it. Dang it, Jim. Yeah. Well, I don't know what yeah. to tell you. I've... But that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Except for their 16. But it's got a Jimmy 270 in it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Wow. It used to have a ready mix truck on it. I mean, a ready mix, three yard ready mix thing on it. When uh, Ev Lemon had the Wasilla concrete plant year back in the 50s, 60s. Who had concrete plant? His name was Everett Lemon. What's well, the concrete? Lemon. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, uh, Mike and uh, what's his name? Smith. Smith. Smith boys, yeah, yeah. they got it. Uh, Dave Smith, their dad, bought it. Bought it, yeah. And then uh, uh, I don't know who they bought it from, but Lemon retired years ago. I'm 15 years old. I was. He made concrete blocks. Then I was off bearing. I lasted a day. <laughs> you, you grab them green blocks and you pick, pack them over to the little uh, stand and you take your thumbs and you slide them on in there. They got to be uh, dried and cured. Right. And that was just, I couldn't, next day I couldn't even move. Couldn't even move. <laughs> I was, one time I was, uh, who was I working for? Rex Turner, I think. And I was oh, Turner. running a jumping jack compactor. Yeah. And I'd never run one of them things before and I was down in a hole and Hand me that. So I still had a hold of the trigger and pulled that thing and walked it up the side of the... Oh my God, I'd reach, I reached over to grab a glass of water in the morning. I grabbed the glass, but it didn't come up. It just came up just enough to fall over. I could not clamp my hand. Oh my God. Well, anyway, yeah, I'll talk to Mark about this. I don't All know right. Uh, another guy wanted to dig like he, he was going to take the uh, uh, cutting the uh, wheels, the axle off the back, and they, they use them for swamp buggies. Right. Uh, heavy duty uh, differentials in those things, you know. Yeah, they are. Good swamp buggies. But, well, I don't look at that old tank on there. Holy Christ. Well, that cost you an arm and a leg to throw Yeah, but I'm not even sure it's any good. I don't know. Bill had it. Uh, I bought it, and then I sold it to him, traded him, and then. I don't know where it has got, it had a power takeoff on the side there for a winch, a front mount winch. Oh, okay. And there's a front mount winch over there all broke up. Give me an old hydraulic 20 ton, 60 ton. I think it's off an 8 by 8, or 6 by 6. This would be a 20 ton. 